Amen. I want to talk a bit now about what you brought up a couple of times since we've been speaking is that, hey, my background is lining up on the numbers and beating defensive backs for jump balls myself. So I got to ask, how do you go from playing receiver at Southern Miss, which I got to say right quick, my mother is an alumnus of USM and she's very awesome. much on the breaker squad because of Coach Fedora. And then yeah, there's a yeah. the connection with you. But yeah. how do you go from being a receiver to being a quarterback at Northern Colorado all over again? Yeah, so I uh, and I'll just start with high school. Um, you know, I had always been a quarterback. Uh, grew up, you know, just I, for whatever reason in baseball uh, in football, I was just the guy that could throw. I I just was blessed with that gift, and um, you know, played quarterback the the whole time, but was also a, a really good athlete. And um, when I got to Southern Mississippi. They, uh, the new coach, so I, I was a quarterback for my redshirt year. And then when Todd Munkin came in, they made me a receiver immediately. Um, so I, I did that to try to help the team and did that for three years-ish and ended up starting some games. I was low on the depth chart, worked my way up and had some injuries happen as well. I was kind of a guy that, you know, if I wasn't starting, uh, which I think I probably in three years got like six or seven starts, mm -hmm. um, but if I wasn't a guy that was starting, I was a guy probably getting seven to ten snaps a game. So not a whole whole heck of a lot. Um, and then, you know, in my going into my redshirt junior year, Todd Munkin brings me in, tells me I'm not good enough to play for him anymore, takes my scholarship. Mm. And, uh, you know, at that point, I was kind of a, a big crossroad in my life where it was like I've got three hours left to graduate so I can either do that and go get a job or – I can try to gut out two years of football that aren't looking good. You know, the dream, my, my childhood dream was always to be a professional athlete. At different times, it um, was different sports, but I always, I knew that like from the time I could dream anything, I was like, I want to be that guy. I want to be uh, Chipper Jones for the Braves or Michael Vick for the Falcons. Like I knew I wanted to be a professional athlete. So you know, you envision, I got this college scholarship. You're like leaving high school. You're like, I'm going to go be a college football player. And then I'm going to the pros. That's what everybody thinks. And then college doesn't go the way you think it goes. And uh, you sit for better part of three years, not even playing the position that you want to play. And then I transferred to Northern Colorado. So made that decision to continue on with my football career. Cause you know, my parents, and I, I've said this a bunch to people, my parents are I credit them with a lot of this because they never let me quit anything that I started, whether it was a science fair project that I got way too deep in over my head. Like, you know, I wanted to quit halfway through, like, no, you started it. Or uh, whether it was football when I was five years old, I, I wanted to play tackle football with my friends and then come to find out I'm playing right tackle as a five-year-old and hated taking the helmet. I felt like my ears were being ripped off by the dang helmet and didn't like being hit at that time in my life. And, um, you know, wanted to quit football then, they didn't let me. So uh, when it came time to decide, I was like, you know, I don't want this coach to, you know, have the final say on, you know, what something that I've dreamed of doing and something that I love to do. So decided to transfer to Northern Colorado, get there. And uh, as soon as I get there, they make me a receiver. So told me I was going to play quarterback for my junior season, played receiver, didn't, didn't step foot on the field. So I went from playing seven to eight snaps at USM to going down a level to one double A to Northern Colorado, didn't play a single snap. And uh, I, I was torn up that after that final game, I was like, man, I just wasted a whole year, um, sat in my car and cried. I, uh, I felt like I wasted my time. I lost 45 hours of credits in the meantime of transferring schools. So I was basically back another year and a half of my education. Um, so it, it was a tough time. And then I go into my senior year and I'm, I'm playing a uh, backup. They said I could be the backup quarterback. And they said that I could, uh, while playing receiver. So we go into my senior year and uh, which I didn't even, I thought about not going back for it at a point in time. I was like, you know, go back to Southern Miss, get three hours, be done. And, uh, again, I just couldn't quit mom and dad. I just had him in the back of my mind and I was like, you know, what would, you know, I, I had felt like I had people looking up to me and uh, 
my brother is one, my little brother, and uh, I didn't ever want to be labeled a quitter in anything that I'd, I'd started. So decided to go back, and uh, starting quarterback breaks his shoulder the very first play of my senior year and uh, go out there and threw seven touchdowns and ran for one in my very first game. Was national player of the week. Had never played a game in, as quarterback. Didn't even practice as a quarterback that week. And, uh, you know, went on to have a great senior season. And that led to an NFL shot. And I just tried to make the most of it. Set a record with 29 passing TDs in your only season <laughs> in Northern Colorado. Last yeah. question I have for you. And uh, feel free to take this wherever. But I yeah. always ask this question to folks like you who have joined the United States Football League in its inaugural season. Yeah. Why? Did you want to take the opportunity, especially after being at so many different NFL, or should I say walking in the door at so many different NFL franchises? Yeah. Why did you want to take the opportunity to play in the USFL? You know, for me, I think that the, the constant throughout my life and even going from eighth grade to transferring to another school, um, because I felt like it afforded me a better opportunity in sports. I did. I made the hard decision to leave a bunch of my friends in high school to then go somewhere that was unknown to hopefully earn a college scholarship. Um, you know, for me, this opportunity was one where, you know, I, I felt like I could have done another year of, you know, being on a practice squad and picked up uh, probably three, four weeks into a season um and then bounce around and then you know you're probably getting close to calling it a career because you know I'm, I'm 28 years old now everybody wants the young guys the the guys that are going to lead a franchise for you know two decades and uh you know for me I've always felt like I can be one of the best to ever play this game I think that there's a lot of growth that has to happen um you know, I, I don't think that I haven't gotten practice reps. I haven't gotten game reps. Uh, but every single time I go out there in the preseason, I feel like I'm at home. I feel like I am. Uh, that's where I'm supposed to be. It feels like my happy place, like out on that field um, amongst the chaos is kind of where I feel most at peace, which is kind of crazy. But just on a football field feels like where I'm supposed to be. And uh, the game's always just kind of felt slow for me. And uh, I feel like I see things well, but. To get back to the question, really, this this represented a bet on myself. And I think one thing that I always want to do, especially if you earn the right to bet on yourself, where I know that I work as hard as I possibly can. I know that, um, you know, I spend the time and the, the time watching film, the time taking care of my body, the, the time putting the reps in at practice and uh, you know, the, the off-season reps of throwing in the, the summer heat and all that kind of stuff. I I wanted to bet on myself just like I've been bet on myself from high school to transferring from Southern Miss to Northern Colorado to, um, you know, really now uh, you can play it safe and, you know, probably end your career as a practice squad guy. Um in your sixth year, but I kind of wanted to take the chance on myself and, you know, uh, show the world what I can do in a game situation. And I'm super grateful to the USFL for the opportunity because um, I know there's a lot of guys out there that would kill for the opportunity to go suit up and get some film for an NFL team. Um, but it's a, uh, it's a bet on myself. And that's, that's kind of what I've been treating it as. Thanks for watching this video and remember hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.